My next stop brings me to the Atfield Theatre in Oswestry, Street, home to some top quality performing arts. I'm here to see a Mr Malcolm Lord to discuss the theatre itself, which has been here for some time. Hi. I'm here with Malcolm Lord. Uh, so, Malcolm, tell me a little bit about the uh, Atfield Theatre here in there. The, the Atfield Theatre here, this little hidden gem hidden away in Oswestry Street that a lot of people don't even know is here. But I can say it's actually been in this room, in this building, for 45 years. 45 1972, years. 1972, the, the um, wow. uh, Oswestry Art Club moved into here. This is a, a former courtroom uh, right. in the uh, Guild Hall. Uh, so there's been some lo lot of naughty people. So, so people have been tried and convicted in, oh, in yes, here over the years. Oh, yes, probably hand-drawn and quartered as well. <laughs> <laughs> but it's now a theatre. Uh, it's got 99 seats, so it's, it's very intimate. I was going to say, it is, it is, quite, it is quite small, actually. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll do a pan of it after yeah. so people can see. But, uh, but it's, 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 a, it's a lovely, intimate size. We do, and we do uh, four productions a year. Yeah. Uh, sort of March, May, October, December. Uh, a varied programme, some sort of serious dramas, comedies, farces, that we try and do a, a mixed bag. Um, and um, we're very well supported, actually. That's um, great. I, I love it. I love, I love the fact that a courtroom has turned into a, a theatre for yeah. entertainment. It seems to have turned from a dark entertainment to a, to a really, really positive oh, right. form over the years. Uh, um, personally, would you? why do you think people should, should come here? To, to see a play. I mean, I mean, there's plenty of theatres around. What, yeah. what does this place have to offer that you find that other places generally Well, don't? compared to, to sort of Theatre 7, we're very cheap, of course. <laughs> it's, prices are always good. Yeah. Pri price Absolutely. is very good. And actually, the Atfield, uh, if you ask anyone who, who does support us, the standard is very, very high. Uh, I mean, you have visions of, of Amdram Theatre with scenery falling over and, and people, you know, getting it all wrong. Uh, <laughs> we do strive to be as professional as possible cool. and we actually have a few members including myself who are uh, either professional actors or, for, or um, former professionals. So you've done some professional acting before? Yes. Now, now someone told me a little tale and I'm, I'm not right. sure whether it's exactly true mm. but I have a feeling that I'm sat here with a star from Rainbow, ah. the, the kids TV series, is that true? That is true. High, everyone can see it smiling over the sky. So can you tell me, which character were you? Well, I did too, you see. When I, when I joined Rainbow in 1980, I went in to play George, the pink hippo. So you were the hippo, pink George. Yeah. Yeah. And then the chap who played Bungle left. Yeah. So I got promoted. Oh, you got promoted I to got Bungle? promoted to Bungle. So no more to... hippo, promoted to the bear. Yeah, because I could walk and talk at the same time, you see. So. <laughs> Fantastic. So, um, but I recent, well, I say recently, 10 years ago, um, I sort of semi-retired and moved from London up here yeah. uh, and live just outside Oswestry Street now. And it's a great town, it's a great town. And there's a lot going on that people, I don't think you're even aware uh, going on, especially in the arts. Mm. Mm. That's fantastic. And, and you know, I, I often find that a lot of people from the main cities, their dream in the end, their great picture is to retire and come away somewhere nice and quiet to the country. And that's exactly, and that's exactly what I've done. What you've yes. done. That's fantastic, <laughs> brilliant stuff. Thank you very much. It's been a really, really good time speaking to you today. So come and see our next show. Come and see our next show. <laughs> the theatre is situated inside the main council building at the top of the Bailey Head, right next to the indoor market.